bit uh, further. And the concept we're going to talk about here would be concept concept uh, 1.2.3. So finally, get to 1.2.3 uh, board mass um, order of operations. Order of operations. All right. So what we do here, let me comment this out. And I'll comment that out. All right. So we're going to look at board mass and the order of operations within mathematics. You know, you know, in math, uh, there are certain rules that you have to follow when you're working with numbers and doing some transformations within numbers. All right. So let's say we wanted to work on this number and say uh, print. Uh, let's do uh, three times two plus five. Guys, take a second. What would the calculation? What would this calculation return for us? All right, three times two plus five. All right. If you've done basic math in grade school or in primary school or secondary school, wherever you're watching, we should be able to perform this operation. All right. So if I go ahead and run this. All right, this prints out 11, 3 times 2 plus 5. And how did it come up uh, uh, to 11, right? If you say, well, did it say 3 times 2? What's 3 times 2? 6. Uh, 6 plus uh, 5 was that 11. So that's how we got 11. All right. So let's write 11. Now, I'm going to show something again very, very similar. So I'm going to say print. Uh, I'll do three uh, times two plus five. So I'm doing the same thing three times two plus five. But instead of just running this, this piece, I'm going to introduce something different. I'm going to put this in a bracket, right? And I'm going to close this in a bracket. So basically, I've put this piece in a bracket and then the same values the same numbers are all on the screen right i'm still working with the same numbers here i haven't changed the numbers right we have three we have two we have five we have times and we have plus same here we have three we have two we have five we have multiplication and then we have addition same thing all right but if i run this guess what will happen intuitively you might think that the result should be the same right but the results would be different all right so here in this first case i'm getting 11 in the second case i'm getting 21 all right even though i'm working with the same digits and the same operations but in because of bot mass if you know if i'm not with bot mass i highly encourage you to, to check that out bracket of division multiplication addition and subtraction which says and this is the order of operations it says if you see a bracket so if something is in a bracket you want to perform that chunk first before you can perform anything else right so in this case what it's going to do it's going to take three uh it's going to take two plus five that gives us seven and then it's going to take seven times three which is 21 all right whereas this just follows it sequentially you can actually control your order of operations by using the bracket and that's basically bot mass it's true in mathematics it's true here right so again all the mathematical operations that you can think about writing on a piece of paper and performing you can leverage python and be able to do it here as such so very very important to master this particular concept now this takes us into the next